What's up, ladies and guys? It's your stream Sherpa here, Walter Tuomi, representing Neo Defective Gaming. Today's topic, my dirty birdies, is talking. We all have moments early on where we're streaming for one to three viewers and no one is saying anything. Well, it's your stream, so you need to stay entertaining. There have been plenty of videos about what to do, but I just wanted to provide my own tips about what I think would help make you a better streamer. So here it is few tips on how to stream while trying to get those lurkers to type in your chat. Tip number one, monologue, but mostly just commentary on yourself. Talk about your day, make a mental note about what you saw or did. You need to practice talking to yourself regularly on stream, obviously. Regularly, that's hard to say. A good way is to joke to yourself about things you like to laugh about. That way you come off more genuine during your stream. People enjoy humor as it is, and making fun of yourself or your gameplays is like a get-out-of-jail-free card whenever you can't think of anything to say. Keep your energy up as well and put more emphasis on your regular speaking energy than you normally would. Try to picture yourself narrating the stream or acting as a sports broadcaster. That helps me. Tip number two, be a character of yourself. If you're not using a gimmick like Burke Black or Dr. Disrespect, which, by the way, are great for marketing if you can find yourself a character to portray, but if you're trying to be yourself, try to be a character of your experiences with more energy. Think of the person you want to be in relation to who you are and match that energy. Remember, streamers are entertainers. Anyone can play a video game, but it takes a level of skill to be entertaining to an audience, responding to questions and just talking in general. It requires a bit of practice, so if you can entertain yourself, then more than likely you're entertaining others. Tip number three, write out your questions and what i mean by that is plan ahead to only have one to three viewers write out questions or your opinions on games or movies art or streaming equipment you're using or have used and ask those questions by spacing them out during the stream when you hit a, hit a topic that someone either wants or has experience with you'll draw out a reaction sometimes your answer will bring that lurker out of the dark and start pounding in your chat tip number four be engaging. I've said it before, and I'll say it again until you're tired of hearing it. Respond to your chat. If someone finally does respond to you or feels compelled to type in the chat, well then welcome them. Super important, say their names. Viewers love recognition live in a stream when people are watching. It feels more personal, and it gives them that dopamine hit when they get a response from a streamer, and it allows you to build a personal relationship with viewers in your chat and gives other viewers more comfort in knowing they can talk and be recognized. It also helps to build relationships in the chat with other viewers that you have also acknowledged. So there, you're, you're welcome. Tip number five, small talk. This requires a response from your chat. You have a limited window to capture the audience's attention. It's this big, this big. But a good icebreaker is to always engage in small talk with your chat. How's your day? What's your favorite type of cereal? What kind of video game do you like? Are you allergic to anything? You have a higher chance of getting a follow if you can keep that chat rolling. Also, it gives you practice on engaging and keeps your knives sharpened with all the other techniques that I've listed. How about we do a bonus tip? So look into the camera. Looking into the camera while speaking, while not all the time, can feel more personalized. Like you're speaking directly to your viewers. They get to see your baby blues or your emerald greens or your poopy brown eyes because you're the... It gives off the impression you're being genuine or serious or giving validation to whatever it is you're speaking about. Also, bonus bonus tip, try having the camera eye level during a stream to get even more personalization like you're the same height as your viewers. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon to get reminders. Did I say bell icon or I said icon? The icon to get reminders about whenever I drop a video, which is regularly. But also make sure to go to twitch.tv slash neodefective. You can find it right here. You can catch me every Friday, Saturday, Sunday for your viewing pleasure. Also, if you need any help with audio equipment or streaming or just want to chat, drop by. All right, guys. It's been fun. It's Walter for Neodefective Gaming signing out. Stay dirty, humans.